Wagwan people, welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. So people, me have at least three stories for report to you today. No? One of which includes a brawling daylight shooting that took place in Montego Bay St. James in the Sam Sharp Square area. You hear them I say, two men who traded bullets in Montego Bay busy Sam Sharp Square on Tuesday are now nursing gunshot wounds. Police sources say they are both being treated at the hospital. One of the injured men drove himself to the medical facility while the other was transported by the police. Their injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. So here we go on now, peeps. According to initial reports from eyewitnesses, two men, one driving a Honda CRV and another one driving an unidentified vehicle, shot at each other after a dispute over bad driving. The incident occurred about 1 pm. So, people, may go play on our video. I'm going to have a look and see what I'm going on. Check it out. Stop this, our man. Come on. So people, obviously them two man are two killers man. We don't have no regards for people and them life. Because them are shoot in a middle day, in a the middle of Shamsharp Square in a Montego Bay. Like a some wild wild west thing them they pan. Innocent people are pass, picnic are pass, old people are pass and be things. And them just a shoot out like them in a some jungle or them in a the middle of one desert or something. I don't understand them money. The two of them need to get them license revoked and the two of them need to go to jail go sit down. And that is my opinion and that's why I leave it. So the next thing we are going out of the street now peeps. Bodies of four men found in Tivoli Gardens. A police searching section of Tivoli Gardens had led to the grisly discovery of four dismembered bodies. It is understood that the bodies were found on railway lane in two holes. The search was being carried out after four men went missing over the weekend. More details to come. So people, word on the street is that these men had carried out a robbery on the supposed son of a Dan. I don't know Dan for which area, but they had allegedly carried out a robbery on the son of a Dan. And we know the thing going in Jamaica. From your distant Dan, you know what going to happen. From your distant Dan, you know the massacre song go. So, they had supposedly distant Dan, because once you touch him son, you automatically diss him. That are the word on the street. And now, this is the end result as to the action that these men took, supposedly. So, until we get some more information and we can fully clarify this, these are just alleged allegations right now. So people, leave your thoughts in the comment section about that one here and think. So in our final story for today now peeps, missing 24 year old YouTube influencer Donnelly Donaldson is still missing a lot of suspicions, speculations and rumors is now being circulated around the internet pertaining to the disappearance of this young lady. Her boyfriend slash JCF slash music producer and his baby mother slash JCF member are the accused and the number one suspects in the disappearance of this young lady. Nationwide News did an interview with the mother of this young lady and the frightening stuff that she said, people. Una have got ear for herself. Me not go tell her now. So I go play the audio clippings. Listen keenly. A private rubbish truck came to the premises and Noel and the 
police woman was seen lifting a garbage bag, a black garbage bag to the truck. And it was only just that one item. And the truck left the premises. Ah, boy. So let me rephrase that for those in the back who didn't hear. The mother was told by neighbors that on the day of Donnelly Donaldson's disappearance, a private garbage truck had pulled up to the house and neighbors saw the accused and his baby mother putting something large wrapped in a black garbage bag in the back of the truck. So that is why there's so much suspicion and fingers being pointed at these two people. So people, analyze the situation for yourself. Leave your thoughts in the comment section about this one yeah. So people, you know, so just as me about to wrap up the recording, I received a notification on Instagram. And it is with deep regrets I have to announce the passing of dancer legend, birth name, Leonard Bartley aka merciless yes people very sad news coming from outside of the dancehall music industry merciless popular dancehall clash recording artist merciless was found dead at a motel in beechwood avenue in saint andrew shortly a while ago so people we don't have much details as to the cause of the death and what one. This is breaking news, developing news as we speak. So you know say, as we get more information, we will be sending it out to you guys. People, may I sad me, yo, may not even know if it's a people, cause merciless I'm an artist you know, man, may I tell you, you know. Sad, sad news this people. Leave your comment in the comment section. Merciless, R.I.P. brother. R.I.P. and condolences to the family. Me know enough people have got hurt by this. Judge and know. People, leave your thoughts in the comment section about this one, yeah. And thing. Listen when you call me. Thirty years, you're good that you don't earn that.